In this video, we're going to show how to install the processing animation framework into the Eclipse Java integrated development environment. The first step will be to install processing. The second step will be to install the correct version of Java. And the third step will be integrating those two things together. So let's download processing. If you click the download link, I'm going to download for Mac OS X and save it somewhere where you can find it. Next, go to the Oracle website to download Java SE development kit version 8. I'll put the link in the description and find the version that suits your system and click to download that. Save that somewhere also where you know where to find it. At this point I've got both the Mac OS X version of processing downloaded and I've also downloaded for your example the Windows version of processing. The uh, starting point I'll go through is Mac OS X. So if you unzip that you'll see that what processing has given you is an app. In order to get this integrated into Eclipse, we actually need just one file that's buried inside of this app. So to get to that file, I'm going to right click or control click and go to show package contents. In show package contents, you'll see all the files that are bundled up into this app. Under contents, under Java, you'll find a file named core.jar and that's the only thing we need. So I'm going to take that file, drag it, drop it somewhere where I know where to find it, like my desktop, go to my desktop, and I no longer need any of the other stuff that came from Mac OS X. So I'm going to delete that zip file. I'm going to delete that processing app. Core.jar is the only thing I need. For Windows users, you unzip the zip file that processing downloaded to your machine, go into that zip file, and you'll find folders called core library, and in there you'll find core.jar. Take that file, drag it, drop it somewhere like your desktop where you can find it easily, and now you have what you need. You can delete the processing zip file. You can delete the processing directory. All you needed was that core.jar. The next step will be for you to make sure you have the correct version of the Java SE installed in your machine, which you've downloaded. And you can double click that to run the installer. And after running through, click all the defaults and you will have the JDK installed version 8. You're now ready to set up Eclipse. We now have to tell Eclipse where to find the JDK version 8. The first step will be to go to Eclipse's preferences, search for JDK. DK. There you're going to find an option called installed JREs. And you'll see all the versions of the JRE that you have previously installed. This will not include your new version that you've just installed. You will have to go manually, click the add button, standard VM, and tell Eclipse where to find the new JRE version 8. You can browse your directories and locate it. Now the question is, where is it? A normal person probably has no idea. The only way that you can really gather where your JRE has been installed is to look at the previous JREs that have been automatically detected by Eclipse when you first installed Eclipse. They will indicate to you the directory in which all the JDKs will be installed. Go to one of the previously installed JDKs, edit it, look at the directory structure, and find everything up to but not including the version. Copy that, click to add a new one, standard VM, and paste in that directory structure as the starting point. Now click directory to browse your folders, and you'll find at that point all the other JDKs that you've installed, including the new one that you want installed. So click on that folder with the latest version, 1.8, click on contents, click on home and here click open. In the name, that's a nickname that this will show up as under your Eclipse preferences. So name it whatever you want, JRE V8 or something like that. Finish. You'll now see your newly installed JRE version 8 show up as one of the listings in the installed JRE's preferences. Next, make sure that is checked. That will make that the default when you start a new project. This will be the version of the JRE that Eclipse will use to interpret your code. Apply those changes. You're now ready to make a project using Eclipse's core.jar file and using the JDK version 8. We're now going to make a project that uses the JDK version 8 that is now installed as the default in Eclipse. File new Java project, type in the name of your project, pick an execution environment, make sure it's 1.8 and click finish. Under source, we're going to go to our finder or Windows Explorer if you're on Windows, find that core.jar that we downloaded earlier and extracted from processing, drag and drop that into SRC. Copy the files so that a copy is placed in this directory. Go to core.jar, control click or right click, build path, add to build path. This is going to make sure that when you run your program, Eclipse knows and Java knows where to find this library of code. Now, back in your source directory, let's make our own file, our own class file in Java. File, new class, call it my class, put a main method in there, and we can import processing at this point. Import processing.core.star will import everything from that core.jar file. In order for our code to take advantage of the powerful animation and graphics capabilities of the processing library, we will need our class to extend a class from the core.jar file named papplet. We do that by using the extends keyword. Our class will also have to, in the main method, call the papplet class's main method and pass the identifier of our class. 
At this point, we have successfully integrated processing's core.jar file into our code, and our code extend and inherit the code from the papplet class and run this using the JRE version 8. If we were to click the play button now, we should see a little window pop open with a gray screen. And there it is. We are successfully running processing enabled code. To finish up, I'll just implement the methods that are automatically called by processing. First method is called settings. This is used to simply set the size of the window that pops open. The next method is called setup, and this is used to instantiate any objects that will actually be drawn to the screen and do other setup related events. The last method that is automatically called by processing is called draw, and this is used to actually draw the contents of each screen. The draw method will be called by processing by default approximately 60 times per second. This is as if it was a frame in a frame based animation where each frame is being replaced by the next frame every 1 60th of a second. I'm going to draw an ellipse into the window with every frame frame, it'll be stuck at the same position, it'll be at 200 in the x coordinates, 250 down from the top, and the ellipse will be 100 wide and 100 tall. In other words, it'll be a circle. Let's play. The window will pop open, the ellipse, which is a circle, will be directly in the center of the window based on the size I've given the window. That's it. You now are ready to write more sophisticated animation, graphics, and more using the processing framework within Eclipse in your own Java code. Thanks.